What's up, y'all? It's your boy G, Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha. In this video, I'm going to show entrepreneurs that want to start a carpet cleaning company how to do a basic carpet clean with equipment under $500. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's your boy G. I'm going to be doing a carpet clean today. I'm going to show you the whole hustle. Pay attention. All right, guys, this is the carpet that we're doing today. If I was going to rate this carpet with five being the absolute worst, I would say this is probably a four. This carpet is good to teach on because if you get this one clean with the equipment that we're using today, then we can pretty much get any carpet clean. Now, this home has two rooms, but we're only going to be focusing on the main living space. Before I start, I normally ask residents if they have any pets or children. Uh, kids, you know, they use paint markers, glue, stuff like that. So um, it becomes a little difficult to get that stuff out. And people have pets, of course, if you do, you might have a little bit of urine. Uh, some dogs need their glands expressed and start rubbing their booty on the carpet. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta prepare for stuff like that. So the first thing we wanna do before any carpet is clean is vacuum. So this one is a Bissell. I got it at Walmart for 50 bucks. It's lightweight, small, looks like a children's toy actually. But um, even though we do highlight the budget, we also want to highlight the practicality. So the reason it's small is because um, all the equipment in this video is going to be small enough to fit in the trunk of your car, easy to transport. So there's no trucks that are needed. When you vacuum, you want to pick up the bigger stuff like pennies, paper clips. You don't want to vacuum that stuff up. You don't want to clog up your vacuum. Um, some people, they offer to vacuum before you arrive to their location, and if they do, that's awesome. But if not, go ahead and continue to vacuum. So let's talk about the cleaning process just real quick. It doesn't matter what you're cleaning, hands, cars, clothes, it all goes through the same process, right? You soak it with water, you add soap, you agitate it, and then you extract the dirt. Carpet cleaning is no different, and I'll highlight the different stages in this video. So step two is the stain removal. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tackle the big visible stains. I like to use what's called Folex Carpet Spot Remover. You can find this stuff on Amazon for $11.99. Overall, it's just a good stain remover. Um, it doesn't foam or anything. Uh, when it's applied to dirt, it breaks it down pretty good. Of course, there are different solutions that you could use for specific stains like urine, wine, Kool-Aid. But if you're looking for just a good, well-rounded, multi-use stain remover, this is the stuff. So what you're going to do is going to spray a generous amount onto the carpet. And when I say generous, that means heavily saturate the carpet. Uh, if time allows, you're going to let it soak for about 10 or about 15 to 30 minutes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use what's called a gong brush to scrub the stain out. And as you can see, it's already starting to come out. Now keep in mind, the dirt doesn't disappear. It's still in the carpet. It just gets loosened and redistributed. We'll have to lift the dirt up later. You're going to have to get what's called a pump sprayer. Now these are normally used for garden plants. In fact, if you were to go to the garden section at Home Depot, you'll find it for about 17 bucks. These are also really good for carpets. Uh, this one is about a two gallon size. We're gonna fill this one up with hot water, then add a quarter cup of the solution. If you do that backwards and add the solution first, then you'll have a big mess on your hands because it'll create a lot of suds and it'll be hard to shut the top of the container. The solution that I'm using is called Resolve Pet Expert. You can get the stuff at Walmart for $20. Whether they have pets or not, I still like to use the solution because it's a little stronger and it's formulated to be easier on pets. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use one fourth of a cup of the solution and then pour it in and then you're gonna seal the container, pump it a few times to get that good pressure build up. When you purchase the sprayer, it'll come with this long spray nozzle. Go ahead and chuck that. You need a high output water, and uh, that nozzle will just slow down the flow, so you don't need that nozzle. All right, so you're just gonna pump it and then spray it, and when you spray it, you're gonna move it back and forth. So you're gonna shake it vigorously to get even coverage on the carpet. You're gonna saturate the carpets really good with the stuff. In fact, you're gonna use about one full gallon for each room. And these carpets dry pretty quickly, so even a gallon sometimes is enough. You want to let the solution soak into the carpet for about uh, 15 to 30 minutes if you can. 
Uh, the next step is going to be agitation. So you'll use that gong brush that we used earlier and uh, you're going to be focusing on high traffic areas of the carpet. So not so much the smaller stains, but um, just the carpet as a whole, specifically the places that, that people step in and that are high traffic. Again, we're not removing the dirt, we're just loosening it. Uh, now there's actually what's called an orbital scrubber that you can buy to make this step easier for you. However, since the point of this video is to keep the cost on the $500, we'll just manually scrub with a brush. It takes a little more time and effort, but it's perfectly fine. Now, some carpets are already going to look clean. Uh, you might have a landlord that requires that a carpet cleaning is done when people move out, regardless of what the carpet looks like. If the carpets are not extremely dirty and they already kind of look clean, after the vacuum, you will bypass this entire step and go directly to the next step, which is step five, the extraction. All right, so if we go back to the, the, the steps that we mentioned earlier, the cleaning steps, soap, soap, agitation, and extraction. Say for instance, when you wash your hands, you'll add the water, right? You'll add the soap, and then you'll agitate it by vigorously rubbing your hands together. And then you'll extract the dirt by rinsing them off. When you rinse your hands off, gravity does all of the work. It pulls the water down into the drain. Carpets are different since it's on the ground. You can't pull the dirt into a drain. You have to pull it up. And this is why we call it extraction because after we agitate and loosen the dirt, we have to extract up from the carpets. The machine that we're using to extract the dirt is called the Bissell Big Green. As far as where it stands with other carpet cleaners, I would say it's, it's middle grade. I mean, it's better than anything that you can get at Walmart. Uh, it's better than the rug doctors that you can rent because at the bottom it has the brush to uh, agitate the carpet. But it's not as good as the high-end, high PSI uh, truck-mounted extractors, right? So this one is approximately 400 bucks, and it's perfect for those that are starting a cleaning business. It weighs about as much as airport luggage, and it collapses and easily fits into the trunk of your car or the back seat. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill that bottom reservoir with scalding hot water and add a quarter cup of that Resolve Pet Solution. And then you're going to put the uh, reservoirs back where they belong, the bottom, the middle, and then the top reservoir. When I do marketing or get quotes for carpet cleaning, I use the word steam cleaning because it sounds more professional. But the fact is, this machine does not create any steam. The water is only as hot as what you add into it. And actually, it works just the same. You could have steam, you could have just hot water. To me, it's all the same, no big difference. When you use this machine, as with any vacuum, you want to plug it near the entrance. You want to start from the furthest distance in the room and continue to work your way towards the entrance. So what we're trying to do is not step on areas that we've already covered. Plus it keeps the cord out of the way when you do it this way. In this video, the cord is in the way, but with this angle that is offered, it gives the best lighting. So to create this video, we're just going to disregard the cord, okay? Okay guys, so here's the sequence. What you're gonna do is four passes. You're gonna back, forth, back, forth. The first pass, you're gonna spray the water. You're gonna spray it using that red trigger on the right handle. The other three passes, you're gonna use no water. You're gonna allow the machine to agitate and suck up the remaining water that's already in the carpet. On the fourth pass, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get two feet from the wall and then you're gonna guide the machine over to the side to start a new row. And then you're gonna have about two inch overlap. Feel free to do additional passes for difficult uh, high traffic areas. Um, we do it this way to get complete coverage of the entire carpet. And also, uh, just like lawns, you know, people like seeing lines, they like seeing geometric patterns and shapes in the carpet. So uh, it just makes it look a little more professional. Here's the before, and here is the after. It'll take about one hour to do each room, and with good ventilation, uh, the carpet will dry in about two to three hours. So let's get into the cost. The vacuum, the sprayer, the extractor was about 480 bucks. Every time you are called to do a clean, it's going to be an average of about three rooms. And so you're going to charge maybe two to three hundred dollars on the three rooms, depending on where you're located. This means that the equipment will pay for itself in about two cleans. So the rest that you make from that point forward with this machine is going to be straight profit. And there you have it. That is the hustle, guys. If this video was of value to you, like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, it's your boy G. Be blessed. I'll holla at you later. Aloha.